Bangladesh flooding 2020, more than one-third, one-third of the land is now underwater. And you can get an overview of what Bangladesh looks like, and you can see. You can see some prevailing features there that might suggest a little bit what's actually going on here. So in a crisis that is affecting multiple East and South e Asian countries, uh, including China in the East and here in the South in Bangladesh, the monsoon season is triggering massive floods affecting hundreds of millions of human beings. And Bangladesh, a nation of rivers, yeah. Let's see there, is being particularly hard hit with over one third of its land reported as being underwater. And this is from News24.com. A third of Bangladesh underwater after heavy rains floods. Almost 4 million people have also been hit by monsoon floods in South Asia. The monsoon, which usually falls from June to September, is crucial to the economy of the Indian subcontinent, but also causes widespread death and destruction across the region every year. This is going to be the worst flood in a decade, Bangladesh's flood forecasting and warning center's chief, uh, Arafud Saram of Beyond told the AFP news agency the flood started late last month and after briefly easing continued to worsen destroying crops and driving people from their homes in several impoverished regions and Bangladesh's Chris Fra this is uh, according to this uh, excerpt here from news 24 Bangladesh's crisscross by 230 rivers, including 53 shared with India. <coughs> so let's just let's see if we can get a little bit more of a sense of of uh, a little bit of of what's going on here. So let's let's bring that circumstance into reality here. And a third of Bangladesh. Uh, uh, <coughs> underwater, over a million villagers marooned, displaced in Bangladesh. This is from Global News. Let's check this out. Heavy flooding is worsened in parts of Bangladesh with over one million villagers marooned or leaving their homes for higher ground along with their cattle uh, and other belongings, officials and volunteers said Tuesday. Yeah, I don't want to see your ads. Uh, water levels at major rivers r were rising Tuesday at around two dozen points in 20 districts. Many new areas in northern, northeastern, and central Bangladesh have been affected over the last 24 hours. Let's see if we've gotten any kind of images here for... Let's see if there's any kind of... You don't got any little... Let's see, severe flooding <coughs> map. Let's see if we've got any map. Got to have somebody that has a map. Bangladesh. Okay, flood affected areas in Bangladesh. So, let's go with this. <coughs> and there we go. We see a little bit more of a sense. We have the flood free area, the river monsoon flood area, and the coastal tidal surge prone area. So, yeah, that's uh. You can see where India is. You can see where Bangladesh is. So, I mean, yeah, <coughs> that's uh, that's in it to win it. What is this uh Bangladesh I'm looking at? Or let's see how this is. Okay, it says uh. Okay, that's Bangladesh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So here's a here's another flood map here. <coughs> Let's check this one out. And there we can see you got India. Uh, you got mm, I'm trying to make it bigger here, and it's not letting me make you bigger. Come on, let's get bigger. Flood map of Bangladesh. 
So let's see. River flood, flash flood. <coughs> no flood. No flood. It's a tiny, tiny space. Uh, basically, if you live in Bangladesh, there's a pretty good, pretty good chance that uh, flooding is uh, part of your life right now. So I, uh, <coughs> my hopes and prayers and all that stuff out to the folks in Bangladesh right now dealing with uh, what they're dealing with. There is. Uh, oh, this is from 1929. No, okay. So let me make sure. <laughs> Like some of these might not be right. Let me see. Is this from? That's from 2017. So let's find some. Does this? Uh, let's see if this is <coughs> current year. Is this current year? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm not. No, that's February 11th. That is really old. Okay, can you give me current year? Hold on. Let's. Uh, Let's try to do that. Let's try to do past 24 hours. Bangladesh. Here we go. There we get something a little bit more <coughs> ruralistic here. And this is from newsnextbd.com, looks like. So there you get. Okay, that's about that's about as much as I can do for you folks. Try to do my best to try to give you a little bit more of a sense of the of the dramas, but uh looks like uh, looks like oh, I just assumed that the, I don't know why I had just assumed I'm glad I checked I'm glad I thought to check so so the, you could see that flooding in Bangladesh has long been always will be a problem yeah, I think that you know you look at Bangladesh and you look at well, people are going to move where are you going to put them I mean there's plenty of places to put them per se but I, the better question is who would take them. <laughs> and would they want to move? Would they want to leave what these things are? But for the love of God, let's uh, <coughs> let's try and work on ways that we can rebuild in uh, ways that are... Well, this is connected to the di a dialectical that I wrote today, So, but I won't get into details with that. So, But uh, we, we are... We don't... We don't build in ways that are realistically assuming what our natural reality truly is. We are not ecologically conditioned <laughs> at all. So we, we have no real sense of, I mean, I won't say we have no real sense. Well, yeah, fundamentally, in aggregate, overwhelming aggregate, <coughs> we have no real sense of of how, of, of, of that interaction and interplay that isn't couched in some sort of uh, way that shuts off any reasonable discourse about how humans could actually be more interactive with their ecology in ways that uh, doesn't fundamentally grade against what humans are. But in the case of Bangladesh, you got this flooding year after year after year, and you just have to build above the floods. Fundamentally, that's what you have to do. You have to build high account for the floods and even the things that are on the ground you account for the floods knowing that you ought to be able to evacuate and whatever but you build high your buildings you don't what 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 are the flood levels that you reach realistically whatever they are that's where you start your building and everything is propped up but you have to you have to man come on we can do this man we can do this we can do so many things that technology enables us to do to change the way that we all live <coughs> And that's uh, one of the great promises of the age. It's the the di the the dichotomous uh, nature of the potential for technology that is and is emerging, how it can be used so singularly to control at levels that we could never before, and yet at the same hand, how it can be used to so singularly empower at individual levels like never before. And what could we free the people up? the people of Bangladesh up to do with uh, if we could uh, fully uh, uh, give humans access to the full potential of our technological reality, such as it is even right this moment. If you just take the tried and two par true parts of what we know today and, uh, and, and even the parts that are already being applied today, just take those things and get them, I guess you could see, in the hands of everyone, or say in the hands of everyone, however you manage that, 
then you can change the world. Then Bangladeshis will be able to use 3D printers and AI and all kinds of uh, uh, methodologies to assist them in figuring out ways to redesign the way that they live so that uh, the floods are always, most always, hardly hardly ever a curse. They're most always simply the blessings. And you, you maximize your harmony with the floods in ways that... Uh, that uh, minimally harm other entities that rely on those floods while at the same hand maximizing your ability to uh, I guess as much as possible passively benefit from the circumstances around you so how you could use floods for instance to regularly build up storage of energy that you can use throughout the year things like that <coughs> At any rate, I think I'll end this at this. I don't want these things to, to go on, these videos that I'm going to be doing. Try to do, at the very least, I'm going to try to do this every day, which is a global news story that maybe a lot of American audiences aren't thinking about or talking about. And probably a second story as well, which I'll be doing later today. It's called, uh, it's our dialectical. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you, see you later. Keep watching the Action Bots uh, YouTube channel. This is this video segment's called Freako Talks News. That's what I did. I'm Freako, by the way. You just called me that for now. It, it works. <laughs>